Thompson Independent Scentsy Consultant here. I have a haul and this is from my Scentsy Warehouse sale. So this is everything that I bought from that. And all of this is for me. It's already cut up in my box. Sorry, a little bit loud. So I have, I'm so very excited about this. Let's see. got the opulence warmer now I think this warmer was on sale for $20 and it's originally $50 so let's take a look here so for the dish it is kind of color this reminds me of the I had the all you need is love warmer um it's very like it looks like almost the same exact color as that very pretty color I love that warmer but I accidentally broke it and it was totally my fault so I did not get it replaced <laughs> um let's see sorry that sounds kind of ugh, it's kind of rough so your Scentsy warmers should always come packed very tightly. They should be completely covered in like bubble wrap and um, styrofoam. They should also come with a bulb, whichever bulb fits in the warmer. Now, oh, wow. That is pretty. My goodness. Look at that. I love that. That's really pretty. And so you can see the inside there. Very pretty. Let's see. I may try to plug this in. Let's let's see if I can get this um, plugged in so we can have a look at it and see what it looks like. Because I've heard good things about this one. I've heard that it's that pictures and video don't really do it justice. So I'm kind of excited. That's why I just was like, oh, it's on sale. I'll go ahead and get it. I did not need another warmer. I really don't even have the space for the warmer that I have. So, you know, just if you love something like I do, you know, you know. <laughs> so here is oh, this warmer here. Oh, so pretty. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to plug it in and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Sorry, it's a little bit wonky. I had to. So I will point out this. So in these warmers here, sometimes we have like the cutout here. You just have to make sure that you put that wire there so that it does not um, sit kind of funky. All right, and let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Don't you just love it? Oh, it's so pretty. My goodness. You can see kind of the detail, like the gold, like specks. Very, very pretty. Oh, wow. I love that. And look, love that. Oh, very nice. I'm very happy with that. That was a great purchase. Okay, hold on. Okay, everyone, I adjusted my camera. That was a little too high for me. Okay, so let's see what else we have here i have a hand soap in peachy and palm trees now i don't think i actually tried this in i feel like it was from a collection maybe a summer collection possibly i did not try it um i just got it because i needed another hand soap so um hopefully that's good i'm assuming it's fruity so it should be good and then i got another box <laughs> So before we get into that box, this was randomly outside the box, so it must not have fit. Oh, so good. I got very bright in the pods. I decided to stock up on the pods because I've been needing some more pods. And I actually just found my Scentsy Go. Like when we moved, I haven't been using it. It's been like almost seven months and I haven't used it. So I decided to charge it. I was like, I'm going to bust this thing out and actually use it. That's like, duh. 
have I bought it I should use it so um very bright Scentsy pods these are fantastic it reminds me of like a blue raspberry type of scent that's it just blue raspberry is what it makes me think of maybe it's because it's blue possibly let's see I should have wax bars and more pods in here I believe I was waiting for this box all day, and of course they got here at like 7 o'clock p.m. Sorry, it's kind of loud. I always hate the opening of the box. Okay. Yes, I was so excited. Okay, so we've got Bright Cider Life. This is a beautiful pumpkin apple. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Ooh. Oh, for the fall, it's so good. Oh, I love it. I just, it just... It like, oh gosh. Okay, so I totally get like the vibes when, you know, when you, you smell it and it takes you like to the season. This is like, it's fall, pumpkins, Halloween, just, oh, I love that so much. I love how scent does that. And I know that for some people it's, it's even more prominent. For me, scent is a very strong like memory kind of inducer. Like it, it brings back so many happy memories and just feelings for me. And I think that's why I just love scent so much. My husband's always like, it's not that big of a deal. Dude, when I smell cucumber melon, it takes me back to high school, being a lifeguard at the pool. Like it just it immediately right back there. And that's, that's what I love about scent. Okay. Before I get off on a tangent, dancing sugar plums. Oh, so good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <sighs> so good. It's um, sugar plums with like a little bit of spice. This is fantastic in the body care. I am so sad that Cincy took it away in that hand cream because it was top tier. Okay. Let's see. We've got, oh, pink haze. I love this scent. It is like, it's it kind of a similar vibe to like sugar to me, um, like a cotton candy type vibe. Mm, this one isn't smelling as good as I'd hoped. Almost like it's been sitting there for too long. I don't know. I may have to contact Cincy on this one because I feel like this one is not giving the same smell that I remember. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Mm, we'll have to see. That's not, that's seeming like really old. I don't know. Um, okay. Orchard Apple and Spice. Now I was very excited to get this because I actually didn't try this scent until this year, this fall, and I really, really liked it. It's what I expect apples and cinnamon to be. Apple and cinnamon sticks, I think, from Scentsy, but I actually don't like their apple and cinnamon um, scent. It's too, like, woody for me. It's got, like, cedar or something, and I really don't like that. Um, this is what I expect. Apple, cinnamon, just all the fall vibes. All the fall vibes. Oh, my gosh. And so that's my one, two, three, four, five Scentsy Pods there. Where is my, oh, there it is. So yes, make sure I have all of that stuff there. Looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my bars. So let's see what I got in these bars. I'm so excited. Almond croissant, I was so happy to see this in. So I got the bar bundle. Um, the bakery bundle i believe so and then for the pods ooh, i don't remember what the pod bundle was if it was like a fruity or wintry some kind of thing but i got the bakery for sure um bundle for this and the fruity the bakery and the fruity so a lot of a lot of fruity and bakery scents oh gosh and the one thing i do love about bars is when they've been sitting for a while they are better I don't know that that's true with pods, but with bars, the wax seems to, like, there's a good amount of time. You don't want to let them sit too long, but I feel like for a lot of them, they're fantastic when they sit just a little bit. Okay, so this one is like a buttery croissant. Like, you get that almond. Oh, it's so warm and, like, cozy. I was obsessed with the set. I was so sad that they didn't bring it back. Um, I think it was a few years ago, actually, that it was available, and they didn't bring it back. I was like, oh, no, it's, like, such a good mixer. To mix and make something bakery. Oh, why would they do that to us, Scentsy? Okay, the next one is Mix It from the Mix It collection. I actually didn't buy this collection. I only bought like 
I think one or two bars, like the orange and then I think the juicy apple raspberry. And I think they were in sales too. So just like this, this one is the juicy apple raspberry. Oh, very nice. Fruity, very fruity. It kind of, it's fruity, but it almost has like a perfumey type vibe to me. Very, very candy type of raspberry to me. Desert Tropics. Desert Tropics. I feel like this was a scent of the month with maybe a succulent type warmer. The one with like the three different like tiered type um, succulents. That warmer. Which I think was maybe last year of June or July. Something like that. This is actually really nice. I like that. Ooh, very nice. It's um got a slight fruit punchy type vibe, but not as bright as like um the rainbow sugar. Very nice. Ooh. And it seems like it'll be pretty strong. Pink sugarberry mint is supposed to have mint. I, I don't ever smell mint. It just seems like um ah uh, yep, cotton candy. It's even got like that after almost like when you smell like that aftertaste of like in the back of my throat, like that, that sugariness from cotton candy. I get that from the smell of this. <laughs> so weird how that happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mad for Melon. I actually don't really remember the scent too much, so let's see what we have here. I don't know if it's like a melon, like watermelon or melon like cantaloupe or honeydew maybe. I'm thinking like honeydew, cantaloupe type of vibe. It seems like that, but it, feels, it almost seems like it has some other kind of fruit in there. Maybe pear? Hmm. Interesting. I think that's pretty good, but it's um, the problem that I have with melon scents, unless they're like a candied melon, a lot of melon scents come off kind of perfumey to me, and that bothers me. Like there's been cantaloupe scents, like I think a week in the smile is one of those that it was like supposed to be like cantaloupe or something, I think, honeydew. And I was just not a fan. It seemed very perfumey and it gave me like a headache. So we will see how that goes. Ooh, candy crave. This is a throwback. Oh my gosh, I haven't smelled this in like probably a year and a half. Uh, okay, so if I'm talking, so pink haze, I was saying is like the pink cotton candy. This is like the blue cotton candy, candy crave. Total blue cotton candy bag. Oh, freaking amazing. I love that. Oh, that and pink haze are like a dreamy candy type. Oh, yes. So exciting. Okay. Passion fruit colada. I've never smelled this. So let's see. It's nice and fruity, but there is almost, what is that reminding me of? Reminds me of something else that it reminds me of. Another scent that Scentsy has. It's reminding me of something else. It's got a similar vibe. Um, not the coconut in Pina Colada. It's like the coconut almost like in Kakui and Coconut or... Um, the new one, the uh, Sunset Mountain. What is, what is that scent? I don't remember what that one is. It's like that kind of, it's a perfumey type coconut to me. Not a fruity type coconut. Which I was surprised. I was expecting um, a fruity type passion fruit. Well, I guess passion fruit would be floral. So that kind of makes sense that it would seem perfumey to me. Florals generally seem like a perfume to me. Snow Kiss Cranberry. I love this scent. Just the perfect uh, body care type of cranberry, which is fantastic for like November and December. Oh, yes. Yes. I love it. I really enjoy this scent. Oh, so pretty. Pretty and plum. I think I remember this one vaguely. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. Is this like coconut plum? Oh, that is. Oh, oh 
Holy smokes, did I forget how good that was or what? That's amazing. It's got a very um, similar vibe to me as coconut pumpkin pie. If you know that one, coconut pumpkin pie, it's got that same type of vibe. That's why I'm thinking coconut. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Wow. You guys, I, I should have gotten two. <laughs> should have gotten two. Oh, it's giving me the same vibe that I feel when I smell All You Need Is Love. All You Need Is Love. Does anyone remember that one? It's like Bing Cherry, I think, and Coconut or something, but same vibe. Oh, my gosh. That is tripping me out. Wait. God, that's so good. Okay, I'm sorry to be, like, dragging that on, but that's so good. Wow. Holy smokes. I love that. Oh, now I might be hoarding it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, breakfast in bed. I know I love this one. This is like, um, I believe, pumpkin pastry with like jam, something like that. It's It's got actually a stronger like bakery crust type note in it. Yeah, that like a croissant. Like kind of like the um, almond croissant. It's got more of that vibe, which I love. I love, and it's a strong performer. I remember it is strong. So love that. Oh, so good. And I do have a few bars of this, but I don't have it in my club anymore. So I'm happy to get another bar. That was one of the main reasons I bought this. This and Almond Croissant were my favorites. So I was like, I'll get it and hope for the best for the rest. Also, this is another reason why I bought it. Red, white, and berry pie, you guys. It's so bomb. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Yay, yay. <laughs> so good. Oh, gosh, it's so good. It actually doesn't have as much of a pie note as I expected when I first got it, but it reminds me of cherry almond pie. Or um, if you remember um, maraschino sugar cookie, that one has more of the cookie note. This has less of the bakery crust note. It's more of like the filling to me. It, like you could actually add something to it to make it seem more bakery like to me um peachy and palm trees so i will see what that smells like with the hands let me see oh oh wow very peachy oh i like that um the peach is strong to me it reminds me of kind of though the the vibe i get with like those peach ring candies that kind of peach it's giving that kind oh yeah oh wow a lot of peach on the bottom Nice. I actually really like that. I didn't expect that. Okay. I like it. Nice. Oh, Snapdragon. Snapdragon. This one I feel like I warmed recently. Yes, in my voice room. I had testers of it. Oh, Snapdragon. It's kind of okay. I mean, it's got a, a weird, like a floral note that I'm not a huge fan of. So this will probably be like a bathroom, my like kids' bathroom type of scent. It's, it's got a, it's a little more floral than I would like. Jewel pomegranate. I actually really like this scent. It is good for after you're done with all those heavy, uh, like bakery scents in the winter, and you want something fruity but not super bright fruity. This is perfect because it's like a dark, deep pomegranate. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh gosh, this is good in body care too. This is like this is perfect body care. Also, those deep dark scents are great for body care. And Vanilla Wave. Vanilla Wave is so good. This is like a salty vanilla. Oh, yes. Like vanilla, like a light, airy vanilla with salty sea air. Maybe like a little bit of caramel, too. Mmm. Yes. Gosh, this is such a good one. Why didn't they bring this back this year? <laughs> Seriously, Sensei. This is so good, and it's a great mixer. And I remember it performed, but I love the saltiness of it. Like there's a sweetness, but it's got this like little touch. You can, it's like they sprinkled salt. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so pretty. Golly, that's amazing. I love it. Oh, okay. So that is what I got. I got that warmer and then those uh, Scentsy Pods and these bars. I'm so excited to dig into this and start warming them. I was waiting for those pods so that I could really have a lot of pods to switch out. I have 
three wall fan diffusers, a Sensigo, and a mini fan plug-in. So I am excited to get into those. And I'm still kind of questioning whether I should contact Cincy about my King K's. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm a little crazy. I mean, we did get it for a deep discount, so I guess it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I'm excited about these bars. I am obsessed. I'm going to tell you my favorites out of these. Pretty and Plum, you guys. That is giving the same vibes as All You Need Is Love. That is, like, probably my favorite scent out of all of these. Oh my God. And I think I remember being obsessed with it. Well, how did I forget? I don't know. We've, I probably tried it during a sale. So I couldn't add it to my glove because this would be club worthy for sure. Pretty and plum. So amazing. All right. Breakfast in bed. Yes. This is the next one. Number two. Yes. I love all the bakery since they're so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's see. I think the next thing would be the red, white, and berry pie. I love red, white, and berry pie. This is just a nice fruity bakery scent. I would add still more bakery to that. So if I'm going to go bakery, I would say almond croissant. Oh, almond croissant is fantastic. It's a great mixer. And I'm looking for more other vanilla based scents other than just vanilla, bean buttercream, and sugar cookie. So this is perfect for mixing. Vanilla waves because I love that vanilla with the saltiness. Oh, that's so good. It's like vanilla caramel salt. That's what it smells like to me. It's all so good. And the last one that I would say, because I actually really am surprised by it, Desert Tropics. I actually really like that scent. It's nice. Ooh, it's going to be so good. So good. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I'm so excited to get into these. Okay. That's what I have for my haul. I'm very excited to get into these. Did you guys get your warehouse sale orders yet? Uh, mine took a few days to ship, but it actually shipped fairly quickly considering they said it might take up to the full 21 days. So I will take it. I'm very happy with my order and I'm so very excited. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys got your warehouse orders, what you ordered, and if you're loving the scents. Have you tried all of them? Are they new scents to you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Also, please, before I go, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of video, okay?